Happy Halloween! Welcome to day 11 of Timber Stand Improvement. So we're coming in here, we're knocking down all of these trees that are crooked and covered in vines to make space for new growth to occur on the bigger, straighter poplar trees, water oak trees, and all sorts of other hardwoods that we have been blessed with on this hilltop. It's actually pretty amazing. If I've cut down a couple of these crooked hollies over here and they're anywhere from 60 to 85 years old. Because the cattle farmer up the road grazed this from 1906 all the way up to 1983, the forests in here are very variably aged. We believe it's only been logged in 1983, uh, and there's remnants of it being logged around 1917. But because of this, we've got, you know, holly trees like this to the left that are 60 years old, beautiful, tall, and straight, with owl nest and blue jay nest in the same tree. And at the same time, we've got old growth sweet bay, like over here where I'm standing at, if you can see in the background. That sweet bay back there is probably close to 35 years old. <clears throat> and then the older one behind it that I'm considering old growth is about 85. Evenly matched in the same line with that American holly. It really is amazing to see all the history on a piece of land as you go through and stroke your paintbrushes. But I'm out of time, and we'll see you next time on the American Forester. Keep cutting!